Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, so it is a blessing once again to be here. Um, we are knocking right um, at the Feast of Trumpets, which will be this evening at sundown. Woohoo! Um, but I want to come quickly to um, clear up something that I said yesterday. Um, when you read in Matthew 5 and the Messiah Yeshua is uh, telling um, his disciples that if you remember um, when it is, when you want to bring your gift to the altar and upon doing so, if you remember that your brother has an ought or a grudge against you, you are to then leave your gift at the altar, go and reconcile with your brother, and then um, you're able to come back and bring your gift. When you read that many uh, attribute that to mean that if you uh, um, are going to bring a gift and if someone has an ought against you personally, then that means that you cannot keep the fees or you cannot bring your gift because a brother has an ought. It doesn't mean if someone's just angry with you without a cause or someone doesn't like you. What that scripture is saying, and the rule I gave me a better understanding this morning, this means that let's say if I am the transgressor, okay, I want to keep the feast. I want to come into the altar of Yod and come into his presence and bring a gift. And then I remember that I transgress another brother. Maybe I stole from another brother or I borrowed money and didn't give it back or I made a promise or an oath and I broke it. We're talking about um, a legal um, right according to Torah. If I decide I want to keep the feast, and I'm using myself as an example, if I decide I want to come and bring a gift, I want to keep the feast. However, I, when I get to the altar, I remember that I transgressed another brother, that I broke Torah. Somewhere in his law, I broke his Torah as far as how I am to treat another brother than you, than I, the transgressor, is the one that has to go and reconcile and make peace with that brother or sister that I transgress. I just want to clear that up. Um, we have to, again... Uh, make sure that we're not coming and celebrating these uh, the feasts that we can keep. And there's only two. I know our brothers think that we can keep all of them. We cannot. There are only two that we can keep outside of the land of Jerusalem, the place where he left his name. And that is the two that's coming now to, uh, this evening, trumpets, shofar, and as well as uh, atonement. So, Make sure that we're doing everything the way that he said to do it, how he said to do it. His feast days are statues. So as much as we have our zeal and wanting to, to keep them where, when, and how we want to, we cannot do that. Yah is holy. We must reverence him and honor his statues. He doesn't just talk about the law because I know our people, we talk about the law and keep them Torah, and he says to keep his feast days forever, but he said that we keep them how he said, where he said, when he said. It is a time element. Um, these are more deems, and if we're going to rehearse them and practice them, these are seasons. We have to do them in their seasons. I can't celebrate summer and winter, okay? I can't celebrate spring and fall. Every season performs and does what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do and it doesn't there's no disagreement so let us keep the feast that we can keep here the way he said and the other ones unless you plan on hopping on the plane and going to jerusalem you should not be keeping them here and the scriptures are clear and so for those of you who are going to be blowing that chauffeur tonight and um, just partaking and studying and uh, coming to fellowship, however, whether it's Zoom or in person, um, to show our Father Yah how much we want to honor him on his high holy days, not the world's holidays. We're going to keep the word according to scripture. So I pray that you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy this blowing of shofar coming up. Hallelujah. Hi, good morning. Um, just wanted to... As we get ready to uh, one of uh, the feast days of Yah is here, 
um, the Feast of Trumpets. It is a blessing um, to be able to be rid of the world's holidays and to partake in his holy days. I wanted to clear up something yesterday in one of the videos. Um, when it comes to bringing your gift to the altar and coming before him to keep his feast, if you are the transgressor that has transgressed a brother or a sister in Torah, have broken an oath, have transgressed them according to the law, and you wish to partake in his feast days, you are the one that need to go leave your gift at the altar and bring, uh, go reconcile with your brother. Um, I wanted to just make that clarification. And this is for those who have legal, a legal right, um, according to Torah, because you have transgressed, uh, what he has said as far as how we are to treat our brother or sister. So having said that, if you know that you have not, according to Torah, not your own, but according to Torah, have not transgressed your brother, because if you transgress your brother, you are transgressing. Yeah. But if you have, you need to go and reconcile with your brother, make your wrongs right, whatever that may be, then you will be able to partake. So for those of you who will be able to partake in trumpets, can't wait to blow um, that shofar at sundown tonight. Um, the Father Yah gave me this day, and um, it is uh, just a great thing to uh, be able to do what he has commanded to do. So enjoy your day.